Hello travelers, this is Tony. Welcome back to Trophy Travel Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of a recent visit I had with the Notre Dame Basilica in Montreal. I really think this is a must see when you're in the city. It is a $15 entry. You can buy it online at first. You can also uh, queue up and uh, pay cash when you're there, but um, just you know, buy it online and just avoid the lineup. Um, it is in the heart of uh, Montreal, their old district, or old Montreal. It's located at 110 Notre Dame Street West in Montreal. And um, it's a really magnificent church. I won't go through the full history of it, but what you can do is um, Montreal has these free tours, which we went to, and it was a really good history of the whole, um, uh, the whole history of not only the basilica uh, and why it's called basilica um, but the whole history of Montreal so I really highly recommend that tour this is the view for at nighttime which is lit up statue is of Paul de Chamade who is credited to be the founder of uh, Montreal obviously um, the lands be belong to the natives and um, Paul Chamade um, came and was credited for um, bringing over settlers from France to um, this um, place, Mon old Montreal, um, to convert um, the natives into Catholicism. Uh, but again, if you go to the free tour of Montreal, you'll understand that there's a more complicated story to this and there was he also had some help from other people who are actually on the statue itself notably a nurse and that whole history again I'll leave um, for you to go see that uh, free tour with um, the Montreal um, free tour company I'll put a link to that again it was a really worthwhile tour these are some videos of the stunning altar of the um, Notre Dame Basilica. I don't try to go through in these videos um, everything about the Notre Dame or the place I go to. I think um, just a general kind of summary and overview and some pictures because I really would like uh, viewers and subscribers to go themselves. Um, that's not the idea of my um, YouTube channel to go and do everything to the maximum and then you don't have to go yourself. Um, I hope that you will go yourself and experience these places yourselves and um, hopefully my short videos can give you a bit of taste of it and will encourage you or kind of heighten your senses as to um, how magnificent it is and that you should go and go yourself. There's no audio guide for um, the Basilica. Having said that, they do have um, kind of plaques all around the place where it has some history and some explanation. And they also have a leaflet that is quite good. If you can see um, by the altar, there's kind of four figures, two on each side. And those um, are going, will go through in the um, pamphlet. Um, but to me, the one that spoke to me the most was the figure on the top right and that is Abraham sacrificing his son Isaac. There's also on the right um, Aaron, the high priest, Abel a lamb according to tradition. On the left, you have Moses giving laws about offering animal sacrifices on the altar. And then also Meshachedek offers bread and wine. In the back, you can see the organ, which was built in 1891. Um, and it does play during mass, I believe. Um, but mass is gone, is done, um, I think twice a day, but I think it's in the French language. So, uh, we decided not to do that. I'll also mention that they have the aura experience also offered. And so it's kind of a light and visual show with music every night. I think it's at six o'clock. I think it's $32 and you get a discount if you buy the admission and the oral experience um, at the same time. I personally passed on it just because I thought, well, it's not a totally religious show and um, I really don't need light and sound um, to kind of uh, get something from um, Notre Dame. Just the beauty of itself um, was enough for me. And it's also at 6 p.m., so it's kind of 
um, di difficult if you have uh, dinner plans that night at seven uh, to go to that show. So I skipped on it just based on the price, thirty-two dollars. I thought it was, you know, compared to the admission um, for fourteen dollars, I thought I got a lot of value um, just with the admission. Um, there's many stained glass windows like this one all around the whole um, uh, basilica and um, it's they again they have different chapels like many um, uh, Catholic churches around the world but uh, it's always very nice to see and one of the many other chapels I'm not going to go through a history of each one again uh, you can go yourself and um, there is details there you can take a guided tour um, and really that's part of it to experience it with someone that's knowledgeable and to um, have that history um, and to be able to ask questions uh, live another live shot within the cathedral um, I found it really interesting just going around to the different uh, places, the different uh, chapels, the stained glass. Um, you'll probably spend between 45 minutes to an hour there, and um, it's a very good experience. Uh, that's for non Christians. I think if you were Catholic, you'd probably spend a lot more time there. This is the pulpit, which is um, one of the marvels of the basilica, and this is where the priest would climb the stairs to deliver the sermon. Um, they're very, very intricate, and you'll see um, that there's a couple of people, St. Peter and St. Paul, they're seated uh, at the lower parts of the rung of the pulpit, um, I guess listening to Christ's teaching. Short video of the pulpit, got a little explanation, and you just see the magnificence of it. Um, the video really doesn't do it justice when you're there in person. It's, um, it's quite beautiful. And then the final thing I want to kind of um, focus on is at the top of the altar. This is the crowning of the Virgin Mary, um, kind of symbolizing kind of the importance of the Virgin Mary at the top um, of the uh, altar. All in all, it is a wonderful place to visit, a must-see, I think, in um, Montreal, even if you're not religious. Um, it's a wonderful to marvel at the art um, at the structure, at the magnificence, and um, whether you're again religious or not, I think it will bring you some emotional um, feeling, and um, that's always a good thing. Until next time, safe travels.